All right, Pisces, what's up? I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. It's going to be for Pisces placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Hope everybody had a great April Fools. <laughs> All right. I know I did. Okay. Whoa. That was a user error. Let's see. First card. We have the carriage. A journey, either physical or mental. What's going on with the Pisces? Holy Spirit, angels, guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this Piscean reading. We have a rooster. An arrogant, boastful person should not. You should not cross. All right. Thou shall not cross Pisces. How about that one? And then we get the money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Woo -woo. I haven't had that card in a minute. Okay. But you know, that's my favorite. Okay. Three more. A younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. All right. Could be dealing with someone who's younger than you. Um, she looks pissed off though. I'm just going to say that. Like she's like. Okay, that's not funny. It is a little funny. Pisces, 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 Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces, April 2nd? What messages do you have for Pisces, April 2nd, please? The Tower. Solid foundation and success with effort. This is a good tower, all right? You could even be a younger woman who I'm talking to, but maybe you're just like, like, no fucks given, okay? Or just like, I don't know. Like, look at her face. You're just like, like I said up here, an arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross. So, I'm not calling you arrogant or boastful, but given the fact that I said thou shalt not cross Pisces, this is how she looks. Like, bitch, please. Fuck with me if you want to. You know? So, um, dog, pleasure with a close friend. Ooh, okay. Pisces, what you doing? What you doing, Pisces? Let's see. Let's do three cards. Uh, show me this journey, either physical or mental, please, for Pisces. <clears throat> journey, either physical or mental for Pisces. What's that about? Four of Swords, so healing, resting, meditating. Damn. Emperor Reverse and Ten of Swords Reverse wanting to show itself. So you could be dealing with... Alright, so there could have been some type of betrayal or... Um, Something that happened in the past, Ten of Swords. It could have been with a father figure, your father, a baby's father, your grandpa, your uncle, um, a boss, you know, a CEO, or somebody who's in some type of position of authority, but this person has lost control, okay, right? Emperor Reverse could also be an Aries. Um, I feel like this person left you feeling wounded, all right? This person was a snake. They stabbed you in the back. They're not a good father. They don't take care of their responsibilities. They don't take care of their children, whatever it is. Or they're just losing control, okay? They can't they can't manage things wisely. They're not a good leader, all right? Whoever this emperor reverses. I feel like you're trying to heal from this situation, somebody who left you feeling wounded. So this may have been a long time coming, a journey, either physical or mental with this carriage. But overall, with the carriage here, I feel like you are protected, um, you're moving on from this situation, moving out. You are in a carriage. <laughs> it's heard round, like, you know, that song regulator, uh, by Warren G mound up. <laughs> it was round up. I was trying to decipher what that meant, but I feel like it's like, you know, giddy up or like, let's go. Like, I don't know. Okay. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Show me this rooster. Why is rooster here for Pisces, please? This could be this arrogant person who's boastful. All right. Masculine or feminine. Take what fits. Hanged man. Um, five of cups. You may be feeling like a little bit like, I don't know, sad. What 
arrogant, boastful person. Thou shalt not cross Pisces. <laughs> like I said in the beginning, right? Thou shalt not cross Pisces. The hangman is your energy. Hanging in suspense, getting some type of enlightenment, seeing things from a bird's eye view or from a whatever, queen of swords. Yeah. Thou shalt not cross Pisces. All right. Somebody has their sword raised. Somebody here is speaking their truth. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Give me one more. If this is you, Pisces, I can see why. Page of Wands. You may be receiving a message. You may be wanting to take some type of action. You may be optimistic about a situation here. However, if you were dealing with this type of energy and you were trying to heal from this, you know, come up out of this, something that was a long time coming, either physical or mental, this was a journey for you. This was a lesson. This was dealing with somebody like this, Ten of Swords, who betrayed you, stabbed you in your back, and left you for dead. All right, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I would be in this Queen of Swords energy as well. Thou shalt not cross Pisces. <laughs> you you have been uh, enlightened. Maybe you've been enlightened about a younger fire sign. It could be this woman down here. This younger woman or man or boy. Or you may have a fire sign child. What is this page of wands? Four of cups. You may be rejecting somebody. You may re be rejecting somebody who's younger. Or bored and discontent. There may be a fire sign here who's bored and discontent. You may have fire, air in your chart, Pisces. Do not have to. I just feel like if somebody, okay, if somebody's trying to send you a message, I feel like you don't want it, okay? You're bored and discontent with this offer. You're thinking about looking at other options. You're optimistic about trying, you know, trying something new, um, going after something after being enlightened. You're in this Queen of Swords energy, though. Um, I feel like you're not taking shit from nobody. You may be coming off as arrogant, but um, whatever. Okay. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. That's okay. I mean, there's a difference between an arrogant ass person who's always in an arrogant energy or there's somebody who, you know, is acting. I always say this, you know, I learned this a long time ago, but, uh, you know. There's a difference between calling somebody a bitch and telling somebody that they're acting like a bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? You're calling someone a bitch that's like, or whatever word you want. It's like, I prefer, I'm not going to say I was a saint because I've called, you know, we've all been there. But, uh, you know, I feel like you may be acting arrogant. With this rooster here and looking at this house in the background, I'm also wondering, like, you know, roosters to me are like an alarm. They're a siren. Every time I go out to my grandma's house, I hear roosters and I'm just like, who's out there? You know, because I know they go off in the morning naturally, but. I had to stay out there for a few months last summer or a couple summers ago and, uh. When we would hear the roosters in the middle of the day, it was alarming, you know? So maybe something has set off your alarms here. Okay, whatever. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Tell me more. Show us where this is. <laughs> Show me the way, spirit. Show me the way. Show me the way to this money path. You are on the right path, Pisces, okay? Exactly. Nine of pentacles. You are on the right path, Pisces. You are single. You are independent. Most of you. An ace of fucking pentacles on the bottom. Boom. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nine of pentacles, ace of pentacles. That's your ten of pentacles. All right. That is the max pentacles in the deck. That is a legacy. That is abundance. This is being in independent, self-sufficient, able to take care of yourself. You may be missing out on love a little bit. But I feel like that's your own doing. So I feel like you're optimistic, thinking about looking at other options and rejecting something. Or maybe you're just rejecting. Op maybe you're rejecting love. Four of Cups can speak about, you know, rejection, boredom, discontent, not really wanting something, wanting to explore your options, you know. So you may be optimistic 
you know, wanting to take action, not really looking, you know, kind of rejecting love at this time because you're in this Queen of Swords energy. So again, maybe your heart light is kind of, you know, your heart chakra, your heart light. I feel like you you've gained some type of enlightenment here with this hanged one in the in the um in the up here <laughs> with this hanged one up here with this queen of swords it's like you've been enlightened pisces this is you you've been enlightened you're seeing things from a whole new perspective all right um and that's probably why you're in this queen of swords energy you're cutting people places and things off that no longer serve you you're not taking no shit you're standing in your truth her sword is raised all right it's like come at me if you fucking want to right after getting some type of enlightenment about a situation, I feel like you're optimistic about taking action or or exploring something new. The Page of Wands can be like an explorer, you know. Um, but I don't feel like I don't feel like you're looking for love. You know what I'm saying? All right. The money path is waiting for you to find it. Pisces, you are abundant within your own self. Okay, whatever you went through over here, dealing with this emperor. Ten of Swords in reverse and this Four of Swords. Somebody literally betrayed you, stabbed you in your back. And this has been a long fucking journey. But this carriage, it's like this has been a long journey dealing with this situation. But the worst of the worst of it is over. Ten of Swords and the Emperor reverse. You're dealing with somebody who is very um, power hungry. Somebody who uh, comes off as a leader, but really they're pe spirit, really. I just almost said a POS, okay? This person doesn't take care of their responsibilities. They don't do what is necessary. They're they're controlling. They could be abusive as well with this emperor in reverse. Physical, mental, whatever, okay? And this person left you to fucking heal, like left you for dead. Look at her. She's like laying there. It looks like she's in a fucking casket, all right, with swords stuffed through her stomach. You know, like somebody here left you for dead. They betrayed you, but this is over with. Four swords talks about healing. You're healing from this bullshit. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. You're good, Pisces. A money path is waiting for you to find it. Ace of Pentacles, you will be gifted from the divine or there will be some type of a, you know, an offer, a gift, a payout, something here that is owed to you, possibly. Um, the star card, yeah. And Ace of Cups and two of them goes no way. Six of Pentacles, wow. You're going to have some type of equal give and take. You may have a new soulmate coming in, somebody who's going to, <laughs> cup overfloweth all right uh aquarius it could be an aquarius does not have to be but this is somebody who or this is you pisces very healing you're a star people see you they notice you for a very kindred spirit very kindred sweet soul okay the star card this is a healer this is somebody who you know if you think about it at night you can see all the star everybody in the world can see the stars right they see who you are. They see your your cup is overflowing, that you're very loving. And I feel like that's why you have a soulmate coming in with some type of equal give and take here. Strong roots here with this tree. Six of pentacles, equal give and take. Somebody who's going to give to you equally. All right. All right. I don't think I need to clarify that anymore. Um, let's see. what What's up with this younger woman? What is up with her? I don't know if this is you or someone else or knight of swords. Grace. Oh, shit. Three of swords. Damn. What did I tell you? This woman looks mean or <laughs> like upset, right? She's like, I don't even like this. <laughs> okay. Somebody may come rushing in. This person's angry, possibly with this knight of swords, three of swords. This person's feeling heartbroken. Could be an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, possibly. Somebody here may be coming towards you. Maybe someone who is younger, very pissy faced. Okay. But they're angry, they're pissed off, they're heartbroken. They So, younger woman, other woman, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. What is this person coming in for Pisces? Why, why are they coming towards my Pisces like this? Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn as well. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. This could also be somebody who is married. Um, this is Queen of Pentacles. Damn. Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is somebody who's coming out of a mental entrapment, coming out of a mental prison. Or maybe they see you this way and that's why they're coming towards you. But masculine or feminine, this could be a younger man coming towards you, a younger woman. But I feel like you, 
somebody here is single, stable, self-sufficient, good on their own, or married or committed, just somebody who's very loyal, takes care of the home, takes care of the foundation, takes care of, you know, likes nice things around here, but Eight of Swords reverse, this is somebody who's getting out of a mental entrapment, okay? So now maybe somebody's coming towards you feeling heartbroken because you're stable, because maybe you moved on, maybe you're married, maybe you're in a relationship and you're doing really well for yourself. Queen of Pentacles could be, or maybe you're a, a, you know, a good mother, you take care of your children, the home, or you're married, you know, committed, because this is somebody who's typically very loyal, grounded. All right, somebody's coming towards you like a, like a, this is emotionally off balanced, right? Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, it's like somebody who's coming towards you like, they got a whole lot to say. They're in their emotions. They're feeling heartbroken. So they're not coming from a balanced place. And this person sees you out of your head or sees somebody. I don't know if they're come if this is you or someone else, but you know your story better than I do. We have an emperor reversed here. A queen of swords upright with the hangman, knight of pen nine of pentacles. This is you over here. There could be two women here as well. Or this is just energy. Who is this knight? Or, oh my gosh. Who is this queen of pentacles here? A hair font. Someone who's married or in a higher level of commitment. A contract. Could be a tauren. Okay. So masculine or feminine? King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Either way, somebody's coming towards you, Pisces. I kind of feel this is clarifying this younger woman. So younger woman, other woman, that's what I keep getting. You may have like a karmic energy coming towards you or whether it's your karmic or your person's karmic or a friend's karmic, I don't fucking know. But you have somebody here who's angry, heartbroken, pissed off, younger, doesn't necessarily mean anything. I'm not knocking any younger people here. I'm just saying somebody who looks angry and upset, ready to argue. And it could have to do with something to do with this emperor re in reverse. I feel like you've cut the situation out. You're not looking for love. You're good on your own over here. That's clear. That's evident. Somebody here who maybe is married, maybe coming out of a mental entrapment, wanting some type of loyalty and stability. Or maybe somebody is. Yeah, somebody is coming. I don't know. I feel like there's a few people involved here. I don't know. Show me the solid foundation. I'm going to stop trying to psychoanalyze that because, uh, yeah, all your guys' stories are different. If you guys want a personal reading, you can definitely hit me up, though. Solid foundation with success and effort. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Air sign energy. T Damn, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, solid foundation, success with effort. Ace of Wands. So you're having new opportunities, new sparks, new interests. Um... Ace of Wands is, is having a new opportunity, something that you're passionate about. This could involve some type of business endeavors because the Ten of Pentacles can also speak to like legacy, a strong, sturdy foundation. Ten of Pentacles, like I said once before, you also had the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, something that's very balanced here with this Temperance card. You may have an Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's the truth. You may have Sag in your chart. I feel like somebody here is spying on you tough, okay? Somebody may also be spying on your home. Okay, with this solid foundation, they may be spying on your success, watching your money, watching your pentacles here. Okay, like how the fuck is Pisces getting these new opportunities? All right, passionate opportunities. Somebody has definitely got their eye on you and your money possibly and your home. Okay, or your foundation. Somebody here is watching your moves, Pisces. Point blank period. Well, hello. <laughs> Ah, seven of Wands, you're protected though. Don't even trip. You may be standing your ground. Um, you may be blocking people, places, and things out, or these people are blocked from your success as well. Um, 
seven of wands, ace of wands. Somebody here is wanting to come in and communicate, but the the they may be blocked from taking any action towards you. Seven of wands, blockages, action, ace of wands. Seven plus one is eight. Communication, messages being sent, taking swift action, okay? Opportunities flowing in. Um, somebody here is being blocked from taking a step towards you, possibly. And they can all they can do is spy on you. All right, let's go. Dog, close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Pisces. What you doing? Damn, cards just flying out. Two of wands. Planning. Three of wands. Mm -hmm. No longer waiting. Ace of cups. <laughs> no longer, no longer, no longer waiting for unrequited love. Ace of cups in the reverse. Three of wands. Three of wands is like waiting. No longer waiting for some unrequited love situation. You've made a choice. You've picked your path. You're going down your path. Okay. You've made a decision here with this two of wands. You're planning. What is, what is Pisces planning? What is Pisces planning? So you may have two options as well. Page of cups. Yeah. And king cups. Oh, hey. Page of pentacles. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa, y'all see this craziness? Okay. I don't think I've... Okay. Um... Pleasure with a close friend. You may be, uh, so, okay. This could go two ways, two different messages I just got. Somebody here may have been having pleasure with a close friend, whether that was you or somebody else, okay? It may have resulted in a pregnancy or a baby. Somebody here may also want to apologize. Um, for what? I don't know, okay? But, I mean, probably being an emperor in reverse and fucking betraying you and stabbing you in your back and... You know, now you may, there may be this younger woman who is pissed off, pregnant, possibly, or angry. Um, this could be this younger person, Page of Cups, okay? Somebody who's a little bit um, emotionally inexperienced, you know? I feel like you're no longer waiting for something here. You may have options, or you may have a choice to make as well. Are you going to go this way or are you going to go that way? Because I definitely feel like somebody here is spying on you, but I feel like they're blocked from taking any action towards you. However, I do feel like you have like the other man or other woman, whoever this person is. Somebody's coming towards you angry, heartbroken, pissed off. Um, I feel like you're getting out of whatever kept you mentally entrapped, okay? You're making boss moves. The Queen of Pentacles is a business owner as well. So this could be your energy. Nine of Pentacles as well. Because Nine of Pentacles, if this is you, single, stable, sufficient, um, independent, able to take care of yourself. This is like the lower arcana. Like a pre-empress. Okay. So if you're pre-empress, you've already been the Queen of Wands. You've already been the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now you're the Queen of Pentacles. You may have some type of business contract going on or be thinking about signing a contract. Could be a government contract. I may need to clarify, but um, either way, you're coming out of your head. Making boss moves here. Oh, shit. Coming out of your head, making boss moves, okay? Eight of Swords, coming out of your head, making boss moves, right? And then you're the Queen of Swords, so this is the Empress. The only thing we're missing is the Empress, but I don't see the Empress because you are dealing with an Emperor in reverse. You're not waiting for this unrequited love situation here, that's for sure. Whatever you are dealing with this with this emperor in reverse, 
this person may have elevated you, okay? So very well, you may have been dealing with an emperor who has lost control, okay? Maybe you were a queen of wands slash queen of cups. Now, after dealing with this emperor in, in reverse, now you're the queen of, queen of pentacles, queen of swords. And after that, you graduate to the empress. So maybe this whole situation happened to elevate you, Pisces, okay? Um... There may be somebody who's wanting to offer an apology or express how they feel, express some type of an emotion here or an apology, who is very much in love with you. It could be another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be this baby. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just heard. It could be this emperor who stepped down to the king of cups. Emperor in reverse to the king of cups, huh? King of wands. I forgot what to tell you guys earlier before I started shuffling. I had never seen so many fucked up cards in a row. It was the Devil, Five of Cups, uh, Nine of Swords, Five of Wands. Not the Seven of Swords, but it was a bunch of fucked up cards all in one row. Okay. What's this Page of Cups? Okay, so somebody here may have been pleasuring with a close friend. You may be thinking about it. Magician coming out like, I don't even know. What's the magician? Virgo Gemini energy. What the fuck? Excuse my language, y'all. Wow. Okay. That's a game changer. So this magician over here, I tried to like fly in reverse, except to him, my, my wall thingy. Uh, and then the next card, I was like, hmm, I don't know what that means. If it's good or bad. Right. Then we get the eight of pentacles reverse. So it's like, if this person was doing fucking who's you, who's you, who's you doing work on you, eight of pentacles, that's about work. Okay. The magician reverse. We all know what that is. That's bad work. Okay. That's, that's bullshit. Anyways, whatever it is, it's being fucking returned right back to him. It's not working. It's being blocked. Like I said, seven of wands over here. It's being fucking blocked. Your opportunities, your ace of wands over here is still in the upright. You will have brand new opportunities. Somebody here, all they, especially when it comes to your finances, all this person can do is spy. This person, somebody may have done work to make somebody walk away from you emotionally or to make you walk away from a situation. Somebody may have been doing some bullshit to get you to like, walk away from your emotions or to make somebody walk away from you with their emotions ace of swords that is the truth somebody here created confusion to me seven of cups is like love spells all right and this may be somebody at a distance with this world card this may also be somebody in your family or a cancerian again travel all right judgment scorpio all right i'm gonna close this reading out mm. Let's do a fortune cookie card. Give me three cards, please, for Pisces, for whoever this is resonating with. Major life change. Oh my gosh. Time is ripe. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and trouble-free existence. Oh yeah. All right. <clears throat> Whatever this is, Pisces, I feel like you're moving away from this. Um, I feel like somebody here was definitely the magician sideways reverse. It's like this person's questionable emperor reverse. We already know masculine or feminine Virgo, Gemini, Aries energy as well. But whoever this person is, is in the reverse. They put you through some type of betrayal, left you for dead, may have been doing work on your finances as well, trying to cause some type of a loss here, or maybe they did. Maybe that was the Ten of Swords. Maybe that was the betrayal. We have sexuality. Existing relationships could find new passion and heighten sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, beware of temptation. That could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. All right, so... Um, beware of temptation, you know, one night stands, fly by nights, you know, maybe if you're interested in somebody that, you know, from the past, that may be rekindled, but I'm here to tell you, I feel like most of you guys who I'm reading for is no longer waiting for an unrequited love situation. That's what this means. Okay. 
uh, future. You may travel, host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. So again, I feel like with this carriage, you're moving somewhere. You're going towards something. Um, you will have a solid foundation with success here. This is a good tower for you, Pisces. Things are about to change for you, all right? Because I feel like you went through a tower moment in the past. Hold on. You went through this tower moment in the past with this Emperor Reverse who left you for dead. Possibly somebody was doing fucking, you know, Emperor Reverse. Left you, for, you know, Ten of Swords, dude. That was in the past. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Somebody here was doing work on your finances, you know, or doing work on you or trying to get you to walk away. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, you know, like they're trying to get you to walk away from something, walk away from some type of a business endeavor, walk away from your job. Wow. That hit home. Okay. One last message. I got to tell you guys everything I see. So for some of y'all, it may be different. This may not apply. But for some of you guys, this Queen of Pentacles may have been a married person. Whoever was doing work over here, because I believe I lay on my cards exactly how, I mean, whatever, it's a story. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, this may have been somebody in a government, in a, in a high ranking position, a business owner, somebody who was wealthy. This person could have also been doing work or doing something to keep somebody trapped in a mental prison. So if uh, this was a high ranking individual or is a high ranking individual, okay, possibly wealthy as well, you know, in the government, they are in the upright and they're coming out of their heads. So or they're no longer stuck or this is you. Somebody here has a seat next to God, okay? Somebody here is high-ranking. Um, a business owner, wealthy. They may have a spiritual business as well. Their own. Anything, you know? You may, you may not even. But this can also symbolize God, you know? The higher up, the higher power. This is typically a business owner. Somebody who's loyal, committed, and grounded. And this person is no longer feeling trapped by whoever was trying to do work on you. You got betrayed by somebody who is supposed to be a leader, the emperor, in reverse. Somebody who's not a good parent, a good father. This person may have also abandoned their children as well. Because we have the Page of Cups out here, Page of Swords, and the Page of Wands. There could be three children involved. And this may be somebody you have a family with, Ten of Cups, okay? They may live at a distance with the world card right under that. Could be a fixed sign. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonates, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. If you guys would like a personal reading, you can always book with me in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.